It's day seven of our 14 day cycle across France. A day where my pal Richard was to get the shock of his life, and all of us were forced to practice the art of cyclocross. Before all that, after a good night's sleep and a big breakfast, there was a rude awakening just at the end of the street. See you later. Uh, I was feeling okay until <laughs> we're 10 yards out of the hotel and the big long climb started already. Oh, it's only four miles. We did six yesterday, so it should be easy. Yeah, this is the toughest bit. Whew. Oh, God. Why are you turning left? Lou? She did some extras. No warm up. Full of breakfast. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Preparation. Yeah. There goes Chris. You're stronger today, Chris, because the hotel had a lift and you didn't have to lug my bags. Oh, God. <clears throat> Let that be a flatter bit up there. Oh, God, this is a murderous start. <sighs> Three percent feels flat. It's the psychology of cycling up hills, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that is such a relief. Clive looking majestic in his Bianchi wheels. Get off my wheels. That really belong on my bike. <laughs> Before you know it, we're nearly there. And all will be right with the world once again. 1,350 feet of climbing in four miles. Bloody hell. And that's the first four miles of the day. Oh, God. And there they all are around the corner. Look, silhouetted against the sky. Oh, well, that was a piece of cake. Didn't get the big ring. The big ring at the back. Oh, f***ing hell. I've got the video there. <laughs> what? You did the, that was a piece of cake. Yeah. And then I've got the video and it said, f*** me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that revealed the big lie. When? Have you really got a Snickers that you don't need? Well, I don't eat them. Oh, yeah. We did the climb knowing there was a root beret at the top. But when a bunch of cyclists with almost 500 miles in their legs and sore asses are faced with a 10 mile detour on the saddle, nothing is going to stop us. Let's see what all the fuss is about. Here we go. Bloody hell, we need a rope. Jesus, is that it? Is that what you're saying? You're saying you got her over that plank. Five mile diversion. Surely we're not going over those planks. <laughs> it's a 10 mile route round if we don't get over. That does look well trodden on the left, doesn't it? That looks like you need carabiners and ropes on the right. Well, come on, somebody's got to go. How can he tell us to go that way? Is he taking a piss? Well, there's, there's about 10 of us on one of them, so... It's, it's obvious this is the way. He's probably pointing at the 10 mile detour and saying, go that way. Yeah, cyclocross. You'd normally get on there and pedal up that hill. <laughs> Good grief. All I can say is I'm finding it easier than going up that hill. <laughs> Apart from this bit. <laughs> yeah, it's got to be over there. That's the side of ways go, isn't it? <laughs> ah! <laughs> 
This is crazy. So we're off again above the clouds. Ah, beautiful. Without any prior warm up, that long climb really tested my resolve, with the pain in my left thigh once again convincing me that Mont Ventoux was probably an impossible dream. But these amazing long scenic effort free descents have a way of chasing those negative thoughts away as quickly as the descent itself, and also offered us all a welcome opportunity to lift the increasingly fragile backsides off the saddle. Look at all this. Woohoo! That was about three and a half miles of beautiful descent. The pain of the climb almost forgotten. The sun's out, much warmer. You've been checking that off in a minute, pal? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. It's a good idea. Funny how noticeably warm it suddenly is. Finally, we're all smiling. That was fun, George. Above the above the clouds and everything. Oh, don't wobble now. The great thing about that descent, George, was because it was close to vehicles, you could use the whole width yeah. going around the bends. It was great. Well, we did 400 miles, and that was the first gas station I saw. It was yesterday. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's really, really nailed some rural, scenic routes. Well, I guess that's where we've been on the left. Beautiful. Yeah. Up again. <laughs> Oh yeah, I think this is going to be the order of the day today, making its way gradually down to the overnight stop, but via lots of hills and descents. And we're all waiting at the top again. Beautiful. I've only done 10 miles. I know. It's been 10 eventful miles. Right there, down. Oh, look, downhill. Cheeky little uh, climb in the middle of this town. Oh. It's still going up. Bloody hell! Didn't need that. I'm filming you. I can only see the back of your head, but I know you're smiling. <laughs> With the Tour de France passing through here recently, the road is emblazoned with all the French favourite riders, and eagle-eyed Richard secured one of the best personal photo opportunities of the entire tour, whilst launching a new tour catchphrase. Allez, Richard. Silent as well. Apart from the squeaking of my crank. Bonjour. Ah. Richard, you're going too far, mate. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's some cake left. The places Darren arranges to do his brew stops are almost always in beautiful locations, and this was no exception. It was a tough couple of hours. Tough couple of hours. 
very peaceful spot for coffee and cake, and I don't want to leave. Ali Risha! Ali Ali! It wasn't just me finding the constant hill climbing energy sapping. And up again. I feel like I don't know if I've got it in my neck to do any more climbs today. To do any more, but there's quite a few more, pal. Just plod. Just plod. Richard is the team photographer. He spots everything. <laughs> I've just been warned that I went almost ran over this big green hairy caterpillar that I'll probably include a photograph of right here. Yeah. You boys are taking us the whole road. I know. That's what you do when you're relaxed. You bloody racers, bloody cyclists. Oh God, people like him make me sick. It looks so easy. I bet he's still in zone one. Superb. He's about to be a granddad and he's bloody cycling like that. Fair play. I think most people would say, if I live round here, I'd be a better cyclist. But Richard says, if I live round here, I'd give up cycling. I love it. <laughs> oh, it seems unfair, Rich. You spend half an hour suffering to get to the top of these damn things. Just for a fantastic descent that lasts 30 seconds. I always say it's like queuing for a ride, it doesn't it? The <laughs> same idea. <sighs> Another slog. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ah. Ah. Hey, this is fun. Aren't you all glad you booked this holiday? Yes, I am. Apart from, I think the opposite to that every five minutes, but... I was actually feeling emotional for a different reason going up that first climb, because my, my leg was hurting so much. I was beginning to think that, you know, I'm, I'm going to end up having to jack in. But then it's settled in now. It bothers me a bit when I'm climbing like now, but nothing bad. Ah, happy days. Okay, I'm climbing over on the right. There's George. Come over here. He's got the thermals, isn't he? Great how they can just hang there for ages without flapping wings. Oh, oh, What's up? Did you touch the electric fence? I didn't realise it. it's electric. There you go, Frank, you touch it. Yeah, you can touch it. If you you want your quiet moment. Yeah, shh. Shush everyone. Silence okay, is golden. Yeah. I just realised it's 1.15 and it's still 15 miles to the lunch stop. So we're hoping for some mile munching downhill. Is it really up there? It's not up there. What? George has gone that way. Which way? Straight on. All right, bloody hell. Oh, Georgie, it does look like the obvious way to go, but that's not what the thing says. Turns out the route includes last year's brew stop. All right, they join up. So we've just done a pointless hill. So George is smart.
Ah, wow, wow, wow. Bonjour, monsieur. Bonjour. Hey, did you buy it? I mean, you just came blowing back. <laughs> I was breaking the whole way down. Right. Mile munching, I call it. You think, oh my God, there's so many miles still to go, and then you get one like that, which eats up a couple very quickly, thank God. Oh my God. And you know what, it was so long without pedaling, now I've got cafe legs. <laughs> yeah, oh, I like that phrase, cafe legs. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, that's terrific. 4,000 feet, just clicked up. Hello, ladies. Just the sound of them munching and nothing else. That was another nice lunch. And now we're off. We believe most of the climbing is done. We'll see. Well, I've done seven miles since the lunch stop and hardly had to pedal. It's been like this, so, uh, yeah, it's been uphill nearly the whole day, it felt like it. So uh, this has been a welcome relief. Finding a bit of shade and having an ass break is a good idea. Last climb of the day. Not long after lunch, I was finding every hill tiring, trying to keep up with the others. But I came across George on his own too. So we doubled up and I enjoyed the last 15 miles getting to know him better. One of the joys of these multi-day events. Good ride, buddy. Enjoy that. Thank you. Hey. <sighs> Brilliant. <laughs> Bonjour, <laughs> messieurs. What a brilliant day it turned out to be, in spite of the negative thoughts I had in the first few miles. Conquering coals, beautiful scenery, and plenty of laughs to keep the negative thoughts at bay for me. Subscribe to my channel to see all the films of this fantastic 14 day journey by clicking on this yellow icon. And take a look at these two films for starters. Au revoir from France and join us again in part eight.